Some beers have attitude. This one apparently has double attitude. Same beer walking around, but the boy I bet sound that you heard of. Same beer walking the streets, so on top of the world that you heard of. It's beer o'clock, and from Vocation Brewery, in collaboration with Salt Brewery, we have a can of their double attitude. West Coast IPA coming in at 6% ABV. Now, this beer is a limited run. It's on the Vocation website. It's £3 a can. So, without further ado, let's crack it open. Let's get it into a, gra a glass and let's give it a try. Now, I'm expecting this to be quite bitter. because West Coast IPAs generally are. So, take a look at it. It's a hazy golden yellow color. It's got a, a one finger white tight head on it. Let's get the aromas. Oh, it's just strong citrus, bold citrus flavors coming at me. Oh, it is just just punches citron, uh, citrus in your face. Unbelievable, unbelievable aroma. It's probably one of the strongest citrusy smelling beers I've actually smelt in a long while. So there we go. Let's just dive in and give it a try. Cheers. First thing it hits you is the sweetness of the malts. And then you get this this citrusy come through to this very very dry bitter back end. It's a great beer. It's got everything you want. And price wise as well, three quid. It's a bargain for what you get in here. Now apparently, um, there's a lots and lots of American hops in this. Um, I don't know what ones, I haven't really said. But I'll tell you what, you certainly know you're drinking an 80% beer. It's very, very boozy. They certainly haven't masked the alcohol in this. It is, it is a real boozy, boozy beer. It's very bitter as well. Which I said to begin with anyway, didn't I? I said I expected this to be very, very bitter. And it is, it doesn't, it doesn't fall down. There's a creaminess to it that's starting to come through. And it's obviously with the, you know, the haziness of the malted barley, it's giving it sort of a creaminess to the beer. It's a great beer. Um, this is a beer where I think you're gonna have one can of and move on to something else. So I don't think I could uh, I could do two, three cans of this. No way, no way. Um, one can is about in a in a in a session is about enough of this for me. Anyway, I couldn't do I couldn't do any more than one can. It's a really, really boozy, 
boozy beer. It actually feels like it's the reverse effect actually. Um, whereas some of these like these craft beers at eight percent feel like drinking a four percent beer, this is an eight percent beer, and it feels like you're drinking an eleven or twelve percent beer. It it really has got a a booziness and a burn to it. But all in all, it's a good, well balanced beer. Um, those of you who are into your West Coast IPAs are going to be all over this like a rash. But some of you probably are not going to like this beer. You know, uh, some of you are not going to like it because it is this booziness to it. It's a great beer. It's not a world beater. Um, just go on their website and pick a can up, three quid. What have you got to lose at the end of the day? Um, that's what I say to anyone. Go and get a can. Three quid, try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches. Fireworks and always drink responsibly. Beep.